Why not I'm going to do a test of the performance of the speed and multitasking of these two devices, the Galaxy S7 and the Lenovo Zook Z2 phone. I'm going to reboot both devices right now and I'm going to see which one reboots faster. Three, two, go. What's up everybody? Tim here at Timbers EM1 and you might be wondering why I'm doing a comparison between these two devices, the Zook and the Galaxy S7. Where one, this phone, the Zook, cost me 194 US dollars shipped to my door from China. I live in California. Up against the Galaxy S7, which is a full flagship phone. Well, they both have the Snapdragon 820. As you can see, the S7 reboots faster here. They both have the Snapdragon 820 and they both have four gigabytes of RAM. So this will be a very interesting test because you basically, at this phone, the Zook phone, under $200, you can buy what? Three or four of these for one S7. So we'll see how well the Lenovo phone can hang with the uh, S7 here, considering they both have the same processor and the same amount of RAM. You know, the key here is the price, the massive price difference. Again, under $200 USD, this is the full flagship. How much is this now? Like $650 or something like that? All right. Anyway, we're both in the phone, both phones right now. I'm going uh, to just open a bunch of apps here and we'll just, we'll just see who performs better. Okay. I'm going to start with the phone app. Three, two, go. I'm going to give the edge to the Lenovo. Good start. Messaging. About the same. You be the judge. Chrome. Okay. I'm going to Google. Let's see, I'm going to Google. Let's see. Retail me not. Okay, on both. Go. Go. So you can see the Lenovo is actually going a little bit faster here. Jackrabbit. Or I'm going to go on Express. Go. Okay. And we'll do a quick browsing test here. I'm just going to scroll up and down. you can see we know what we're gonna expect with the S7 but the Lenovo it's not bad we'll leave it there the camera now the camera I'm going to launch like this to see you so you can see which one launches faster three two go you be the judge maybe the S7 was a bit faster you guys be the judge on that. Okay, I'm going to go to this folder. Open these apps right here. Google app. Go. Okay, give the edge to the S7 there. Okay, we'll leave it there. Calculator. Go. Okay. About the same, you be the judge. Google Sky Map. Go. I'd say that's about even. That is about even. Close that up. And one more in this folder, Instagram. Three, two, go. Wow. It's about the same. All right, I gotta like that pick. <laughs> All right, now one, the S7 is not logged in, but you get the idea. They both loaded about at the same time. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm impressed with the Lenovo thus far. Remember, $194, flagship price for the S7. Okay, settings, go. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Let's go to Wi-Fi on both, or Bluetooth. Click on Bluetooth. Okay, we'll just leave it here. Play Store, go. Okay, S7. Give the edge to the S7 there. Let's see. Click on this game. Okay, about the same. Maybe a slight edge on the Z2. We'll leave it there. YouTube, go. Wow, and again. The Z2 is not doing bad. We'll click on this target ad. And we'll just leave it there. Wonderful. Now, the games. 
Angry Birds 2 Go. Okay, Z2 was ahead, but I think now they're both about even right now. Okay, and then the S7 jumped ahead, followed by the Z2. Well, maybe not. And um, check this out. Okay, I would have to give the oh that was neck and neck, but I think the uh, Lenovo might have won that. Now I don't know what this is on the Lenovo. Some extra stuff. Okay, we'll just get out of here. All right, we'll just leave it there. We'll see if we'll keep that game in memory. Okay. Ashfall 8. One, two, three. Neck and neck. We'll see what happens here. And the S7. Oh, come on, Z2. I had high hopes. Okay, here we go. What's this? Claim. Okay, there's some extra stuff. We're just gonna go through this real quick. Loading. Okay. Some extra crap here. Next. Okay. We'll leave it here. I'm gonna close the game. Subway Surf, go! S7 ahead a little bit. Z2 catching up. And I hear sound from which phone? I believe the S7. Yes, the S7 followed immediately by the Z2. Okay. We're going to tap to play. We're going to play just a little bit. We're going to stop both games. All right, Temple Run 2. 3, 2, go. Whoa, neck and neck. Who's going to win this? I'm telling you, thus far, with the Lenovo phone, you know, being under $200, you know, I mean, look at this. Even this is it jumped ahead in this game. I'm impressed. Bang for a buck, this is not a bad phone. Now, I'm looking at both screens and have to say, in person, the S7 looks better with its Super AMOLED. And also, this is 1440p display. This is 1080, so the S7 does have a bit more pixels to push. So, keep that in mind, okay? I'm going to click no thanks on that. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to stop the game right there. Okay, now I want to get into the multitasking. Now, I really do want to see how the Lenovo, the Zoop phone here, handles multitasking. Okay, phone. Still in memory. Excellent. Messages. Still in memory. Excellent. Chrome. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> uh, if you watched my last comparison video, you'll know what I mean by very nice. Camera. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. You guys be the judge. Okay, the Google app. Still in memory on both. Wonderful. Calculator, we'll see if it kept the 1999. And it did. Wonderful. Sky map. Impressive. So far, I'm impressed with the Lenovo. We know what we're going to expect with the S7. This test is really more about the Lenovo. Instagram. Both in memory. Here we go. Settings, okay, both in memory still. Play Store, in memory. I'm telling you, I'm really impressed by this Z2 right now. We'll see what happens when we get to the games. Okay, so you see YouTube is still in memory on both. Like I said, I know what I'm gonna expect from the S7. Now the games, Angry Birds. Okay, and it, re it reloaded here on the um, on the ZUK phone. Okay, we'll get out of here. Okay. 
Asphalt 8, go. Okay, I kept that in memory. I gotta be careful doing it this way. Subway Surf. Okay, so it kept... The Lenovo kept this game in memory, but the S7 is relaunching the game. So each device right now had to relaunch one game per. It was just a different game. Okay, so I think that's a tie. And finally, Temple Run 2. We'll see what happens here. Go. And the S7 had to reload this game, whereas the Z2 did not. So this is the second reload of the game. Of, a, of an app for the S7, and the Z2 only had to do this once. So I'd have to say, I mean, right now, I would have to say the Z2 has a slight edge here. And I think that's it. We're back to the phone app, and that's still on memory. So as you can see, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, earlier, you know, the S7 is a full flagship phone. This phone, the Lenovo ZUK, Z2, you know, it's on sale right now for our under 200 US dollars. As you can see, I'm pretty impressed. You know, it has the Snapdragon 820 and four gigs of RAM and can, you know, it can hang with the flagship phone like the Galaxy S7 here. Very, very nice. Now I also did a, a camera comparison between the Galaxy S7 and my OnePlus 3T here. So look out for a video on that. You know, that's also going to be a very interesting video since this phone is a budget phone. You know, it's very compelling, you know, very curious to see if it can hang, you know, with flagships like the S7 and also a, a pretty, pretty good mid-range phone like, you know, the 3T. So, okay, so hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about this test. In conclusion, I'm very impressed with the uh, Z2 phone right here. You get a lot of bang for a buck. Not bad for a phone under $200, Snapdragon 820, and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Let me know what you think about this. Like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Tim. I'm out. Peace.